Hey, welcome to the observables part of HTTP tutorial in our um, Tour of Hero series. Uh, we will be implementing Hero Search using observables. So, uh, because we have Hero Service here and we are using promises, we will create another service where we will use observables. So, go to your command line and write ngg service under services hero search like this we will create a new service once once this service is created navigate to it so hero search service and we will uh, first inject the http so we will use the http and create new private variable http which is a type of http like this and now uh, we will implement a search method search method which uh, gets the term which is a type of string so we will search by the um, hero name and we get this in the term parameter like this and we will return an observable of hero array like this so observable are uh, we can get these observables uh, from RxJS. So import observable from RxJS library like this. Okay. Now we will just call the this dot HTTP dot get and uh, insert backticks here, and we will call the app dash heroes and question mark name we will search by name and here we will use uh, string interpolation again so dollar sign uh, curly braces and term so we will use this parameter here like this and when we get this back we don't convert we don't convert it to a promise but we use the map function and we uh, get the res response back like this response and we are converting it to uh, JavaScript objects like this data as hero, similar like in promises. So we need to import response. We can get response from from HTTP response, and we also need to import hero our model like this. Okay, so our service is completed but we need um, we will put this search functionality in its own component so create new component go to the command line and write ngg component hero search okay our component is created and navigate to its html so here we will iterate over the search results uh, create new uh, deal with id search component this is again for the styling search component and inside this we will put an h4 with hero search title and uh, now put an input uh, tag with a local variable hero uh, search box and ID search box like this and now we will trigger this um, search we on the not on the click uh, but on key up event so write key up and we will call the search method with search box dot value um, so the value from this local variable like this complete the tag and now create another deal and uh, another deal and we will iterate over the search results so let hero of heroes we will get these heroes from the service and we use the async pipe uh, here so we get the latest result from this um, hero search and also if we will click on one of the hero will use our existing go to detail um, 
implementation. So we will duplicate this from another component. So, and the class will be search result. This is for styling. Okay. Mm, here, and we put the hero name. So we will see the hero name when uh, from the search results. Like this. Okay. And now all we need to do <coughs> is to um, implement some logic for this. Um, meanwhile, I will go to the getting started guide and I will copy some of the styling. Um, so, search result underneath this HTML which we wrote, there is a search result and paste it in the hero search component.css like this. Okay. Now let's go to the hero search component.ps and we will implement this logic here. So we will have a variable of heroes, a heroes um, variable which will be a type of observable. So we get this observable back and a type of hero array like this. So we need to import hero. like this and in the constructor we will need two things the first will be um, we will need to inject the hero search service so private hero search service is a type of hero search service this and the second thing will be a router because we will use the go to detail and um, we need to uh, navigate to the hero detail in this method so uh, private router is a type of router okay we import this router from angular router like this and this here is search services here okay now we will need two two methods and ng on it so the first method will be search um here is we will pass the term of string and we will call the this dot search terms dot next so this may be confusing but we will create this later but on every search term we will put uh, um, another value into the observable stream so um, observables are, are just streams of data and we will put every search term into this stream okay um, let's implement the go to detail. Meanwhile, go to detail will be um, we will pass the hero, and we will just uh, construct a link where to navigate to. So slash detail. Um, we did this already in another component and here ID. So and this just we call this dot router dot navigate to the link like this. Okay, now let's create this variable search terms. This will be a private search terms, which will be a type of subject. Subject is um, just, for now, let's just write it. Um, subject is from the observable. So we need to import it from RxJS subject. Okay. And now on initialization, let's just um, ng on init here. Let's just uh, write this dot heroes. So we will assign this to the heroes and call this dot search terms. And now we will use some operators and functions from the um, observables. And you will see how easy it is to um, write really good um, and efficient uh, queries. For example, we will use this dot search terms dot debounce time. This is one property. Um, so we will wait 300 milliseconds 
seconds before next um, event, before we pass another event to the observable. Okay, and we will use distinct until changed. So if the next request is the same as um, earlier, we won't uh, pass it to the this.search terms. And we will use the switch map here. So the term we get is a term or so for example if the term is um, <clears throat> is not null we will call the hero search service and the search method and we pass the term um, in the case if the term is empty we will just call the observable dot of hero we will just return an empty observable like this um <clears throat> that's it empty observable mm, like like this <clears throat> okay in in case of the error we will catch it so error will be we will just console log it and again re return an empty observable zero of hero array like this we made two typos here so uh, here we need to put this and we close this okay like this and our um we used all this debounce time and that we need to import uh, them. So we need to import uh, the balance time, this thing, and then change. And all these are here. You can go to getting started and just import them into app module. App module and here. Okay. Now we need to just um, place this component in another component. So we will place it uh, into dashboard. So dashboard.html underneath this uh, top four heroes like this and now if i navigate back once this is compiled i will navigate to the dashboard and it does not work okay uh, there's an error here because we didn't provide our hero search service so go to, to the app module.ts and uh, right next to the hero service provide the hero search service like this import it and now it should work let's try it out let's try the search functionality uh, heroes let's add another hero service like this and now if i go to the dashboard and I write C E, I get the heroes. And if I click on the hero, it should go to the hero detail and it works. Okay, good. We get all. Okay. Cool. Okay, this is the end of the tour of heroes uh, series. We learned a lot. We learned about components, how to separate them. Uh, how to do the routing in the Angular and how to do HTTP requests with promises or observables.